Quail season is here, and I'm talking about all the gear I'm using. Everything from the clothing to the firearm and all my accessories. Stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, welcome to First Nature Backland. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and tap the notification bell. Thanks. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and to everybody who watched my last video. You all made that video by far my most successful video, so thank you very much. And to all of my new subscribers, uh, thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart. It feels really good to know that there's people out there who want to see more of my content. And just real quick, I'll have links so that you could purchase all of these items in the description if you want to make those purchases. Everything except for the firearm and the ammunition. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you click on that link, it'll take you right to that page where you can make that purchase. And everything else is, is just the same as you would make any other Amazon purchase. The only difference is that Amazon will send me a little commission for having sent you that way. That's it. So let's get to it. So you've seen me wearing this hat throughout the video. And although you do need headgear when you're out there in the field, especially if you're a bald guy like me, the point of wearing this hat was to really bring home um, the importance of conservation and the need for conservation. As hunters, we all know this, every time we buy a gun or ammo or archery equipment or any accessory related to hunting, there's an excise tax from the Pittman-Robertson Act. And that tax goes to a fund that's dedicated solely for the conservation of wildlife. That's not something that was put together by anti-hunters trying to curb the recreation of hunting. That was something that was put together. It was something that was pushed for by hunters themselves. You saw the diminished population and species out there in the field in the late 1800s and early 1900s and saw a need uh, to restore these habitats and, and, and population numbers and actually pushed for congressional legislation to be done to create some sort of system of funding to restore these habitats and to restore these numbers, these populations. If it wasn't for those early hunters, those forefathers of the conservation ethic, uh, we wouldn't have wild turkey in this country. We wouldn't have white-tailed deer. We wouldn't have elk. We wouldn't have so many other We wouldn't have buffalo anymore. It would actually be wiped out. Where the, the buffalo population, it's thriving. The grizzly population is thriving. There's so much good that came out of that ethic and it continues today with organizations like Quail Forever, the National Wild Turkey Federation, the, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, the National Deer Association, California Deer Association, and other state organizations. And or, donating to these organizations is an excellent way to make an effort in that conservation. I'm a member of all of these organizations. It's not expensive to become a member of, and your money goes to an excellent cause. If you really care about the planet, these organizations are actually doing proactive things in restoring wildlife populations and habitats, creating new uh, wildlife habitats, and helping to um, d develop ways of maintaining those habitats. So uh, there's, I just think there's, there's no better way than, than to actually do something great for the planet than to donate to these conservation organizations that are actually doing things with state fish and wildlife organizations to build healthy uh, habitats. So I just wanted to take the time to, come to talk about these conservation organizations and how a single donation goes a long way to uh, the preservation of, of wildlife and wildlife habitats. So if you came here thinking that this was gonna help you score chicks, I don't know what the hell you were thinking, but this does help you bring the birds home. So when I go quail hunting, this is what I take with me Every time I go, no more, no less. I don't bring a backpack, there's no need for one. So uh, let's break down each, each piece of gear one by one. So first up is the shirt. The shirt's made by a company called Game Hide. They make various types of hunting clothing. Uh, very good product. It's 100% cotton, I believe. It has a canvas type of feel to it. It's not thick and rough like a canvas tool bag, but it does feel like cotton slash canvas. The pocket is nice and deep. Uh, you could put accessories in here. This is where I keep my hunting license. The sleeves have blaze orange. You're hunting quail, you're moving your arms around a lot. It's good to have the blaze orange on the sleeves so that other hunters in the area can spot you there too. It has a shooting pad. It's not too thick, but it is thicker than the rest of the shirt. 
So it's nice that, to have that extra piece of material there when you're shooting birds all day long. It is true to sizing. So I ordered this off of Amazon a few years back. I measured myself and I ordered the size that I needed and it, it, fits, it fits perfectly. It's, it's looser, so you have room to move around. Um, I normally wear extra large or large depending on the manufacturer, but um, this shirt fits me well. It's comfortable. Uh, it's about 80 degrees right here right now and I am sweating, but I'm not sweating profusely. You know, this shirt does allow me to breathe a little bit and I have a shirt underneath also. So it's, uh, it's thick enough to break the wind, kind of keep me insulated a little bit in 45, 50 degree weather, but it's not thick enough to where I'm, I'm hot right now, where I feel like I have to take this off. So it's a good almost all year, uh, almost all season shirt. Um, but I wouldn't wear something like this in August. You can't hunt quail in August anyways. So uh, moving on to the vest. This is my vest. It's also made by Game Hide. Um, Game Hide makes, like I said, uh, various types of hunting clothing. And I'm, I'm not a Game Hide fanboy, but their products are priced very well. And it's very, very good quality stuff. Uh, this vest is awesome. I love this vest. There's so many features on this vest. There's pockets to put your shot shells here on the bottom. You could put eight on each side, so you could have a total of 16 shot shells right here. It has these zippered pockets and you can easily fit two full boxes of 25 rounds of shot shells in these pockets, um, or birds if you had to, if you ran out of space. It also has these side pockets here. They start from high up on the pack, go all the way down to the bottom seam, and they go clear around to the other side where this back pocket is. My two hands are, are touching each other. So these pockets go, they're huge. And then of course you've got the pocket on the back. For as thick as it is, it's lightweight, um, but it does add to the temperature. The shirt and the vest combined. I am feeling a little hot right now. It's 80 degrees, but it's not unbearable. Uh, when you're hunting upland birds, you need something like a vest. And this vest is fantastic. I love this vest. Again, true to size, link in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. Thank you very much, it helps out the channel. Let's move on to the pants. Next up are the pants. These are upland game pants. They are made, believe it or not, by Wrangler. Yeah, Wrangler makes Upland Game Pants. It's part of their ATG line, which stands for All Terrain Gear. Uh, these pants are very, very comfortable. They're Wrangler. I mean, Wrangler knows how to make comfortable jeans. They're on the front side, they're denim on the upper third and canvas on the lower two thirds. The canvas is real thick. They keep out the thorns. I've never had thorns poke through, walking through the briar patches. On the back side, they're denim on the upper two thirds and canvas on that lower third. There's a pocket right here. You could fit a flashlight. It goes down this far, a flashlight or a call in there, uh, very handy. These jeans, they're, they're comfortable. I mean, they, they even stretch a little bit. The waistline stretches slightly, not, not a whole ton, but it does stretch a little bit. It's not rigid. Uh, these pants are very comfortable. I hike up the hills, through the creeks, and never had any issues with these. Full disclaimer though, they do bleed onto your skin. So when I come home after sweating, I take them off, and my legs are here, right where the denim is, uh, they're baby blue. It looks like I got, I had my circulation cut off. But other than that, I mean, these, these pants are fantastic. You know, no issues. You know, you're, you're not going to be going on dates with these. You're just going uh, out hunting. So, I mean, if they bleed a little bit, what's the big deal? Let's move on to the accessories now. So that's it for part one. Part two is already uploaded if you want to jump over and watch that one. Uh, part two consists of the accessories, the firearm, and the ammunition. And if you stuck around this long, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it very much. Links in the description if you want to make a purchase on any of the items that, that you saw here. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and take care of the land. Thanks.